and welcome to another video. This is Eleni and today I'm going to show you how I made these cute shiny magnets that you can also turn into charms to use on your journals, as embellishments on bottles and whatnot. And the inspiration for this came from a video by Happy Birds Glitter Nest where she made pendant necklaces and I will link you that in the description box below. So for this I'm using some circle die cuts that was already perforated on these thin craft papers that I got by mistake. So I will glue down 10 of them together to get the thickness that I want. You can use a paper punch, any shape you want. It doesn't have to be a circle, it can be a heart for example. And cut out 3 or 4 pieces of thicker paper and that will be enough. Or you can even cut out a piece of cardboard without a specific shape with your scissors and use that as a base. Basically what you need is a stand, a base for the butterfly that will be the focal point and you need it to be sturdy enough to hold the magnet on the back. Now I have these wooden butterfly buttons that I will use and you can find them on Amazon, eBay or Etsy if you just put butterfly buttons on the search bar. But if you have a butterfly punch I'm sure that you can also use that to cut out the butterflies out of colored craft paper and make two holes for the antennae. And that is exactly what you will see me do here. I'm using a piece of wire that I put through the holes, I twist it on the back side to keep it in place and then I curl the two edges. Any thickness of wire is good for this, just as long as it is able to fit through the holes of the button. Later on I will also use this rhinestone chain but you can also cut one row of this rhinestone mesh that is easier to find and use that instead. They look pretty similar. Now I take out all the glitters that I have, like powders, flake, sequins and whatnot. They are nail decorations mostly and they work excellent for this kind of projects. And I will use this triple thick gloss glaze over the butterflies as well as the circles to adhere the glitter, but also to give them a clear, shiny, dome-shaped surface. And of course you can get the similar result by using glossy accents or Mod Podge Di Dimensional Magic 3D varnish instead. I also use a little piece of the chain as a body for the butterfly. I'm trying to match the colors and I will realize that it works better if there were colored paper on the circles. So keep that in mind if you try this. Everything in mixed media is fixable though. So I take out some acrylic paints and fix that. And I will use a silver 3D paint marker around the one that uh, the white paper was showing through.
This is what they look like after six hours when they are dry. And I will go over them with the second coat of the glaze just to seal everything in. And you can see how they look right now. This milky look will turn into a glossy one when they will dry, as you will see in a second. I used a punch to cut out black cardstock to put on the back side as I thought it would look better as also my magnets are black but this is totally optional. Now my advice for adhering the chain would be to use the E6000 glue that is perfect for this but as I didn't have any you will see me fiddle with the glossy accents that didn't work so eventually I used my glue gun. Now this works, but it is a little more bulky than it should be. I also adhered the butterflies with the glue gun and here you can see how they look. If you want you can put bales on them and then chains through that and use them as charms, as wine bottle decorations, as pendants or whatnot. I always keep old bracelets, necklaces, earrings and whatnot that I don't use anymore in my art room and I'm sure you do too. So here you can even put two bales and then use pieces from old jewelry and make charms like these two pieces that I did a while ago. Now I'm adhering the magnets on the rest of them and I even made a ring with the leftover butterfly and a ring base that I had. With the same process as before you will see how I also made more magnets using small dominoes where I have adhered patterned paper and have gone over the edges with a silver 3D paint marker. Hope you liked my project and got inspired to create something similar. I know this was so much fun for me and I love the outcome. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment under it, but also make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified about my new videos. Thank you so much for being here. Stay safe and see you soon. Love and kisses.